DaVinci Resolve 18.1 brought with it some fantastic new features, a few of which I've already covered on the channel, and I'll put a link to those videos up in the top corner and also in the description, so do take a moment to check those out. In this video though, I wanted to share with you my favorite five small but significant DaVinci Resolve 18.1 updates that you need to know. Let's jump on in. Just before we get started, my name is Alex Cameron. I'm a Blackmagic Design Certified DaVinci Resolve trainer, and I absolutely love helping people just like yourself learn DaVinci Resolve and start creating great videos without the normal learning barriers that get in the way. With that said, let's start off with this very first small update. I always found this a little frustrating because sometimes you need to trim the gap between two clips and previously you couldn't do this. It was just simply a delete the gap option. Now in DaVinci Resolve 18.1 though, you can. You simply move your playhead to the point at which you'd like to trim the gap to and you then simply use the trim start or trim end to playhead commands. This simply will then adjust the gap accordingly and you don't even have to select it. It really is very handy and a great feature to have available to us now. Moving on to my second small but significant update in DaVinci Resolve 18.1, new tracks are now added in context. This was always a little clunky because you'd add a new track and it would automatically put it to the top of the video or the bottom of the audio tracks and then you'd have to reorder your clips to free up the track that you needed or to move it close to where you wanted it to be or you'd have to go to the add tracks option in the contextual menu and specify exactly where the new tracks needed to be added but this took a few extra steps and I often used to forget to uncheck the audio tracks and I would end up with lots of extra audio tracks that I didn't need. Need. But this nice little feature, Individuals of 18.1, solves that and makes adding tracks super easy and very quick indeed. My third favorite small DaVinci Resolve 18.1 update is that we now have track and marker listings alongside the edit index. This is a perfect example of a small but welcome update. If you navigate up to the edit index, you'll now see two new tabs for tracks and also markers in the edit timeline. The track listing at first doesn't necessarily look that helpful because you can already see the tracks in your timeline on the screen. The track listing though just allows you to see much more information at a glance and also it's interactive and makes selecting or deselecting, locking or unlocking and enabling and disabling tracks a lot easier. You can actually click and drag over the option you'd like and apply this to multiple tracks in a single swipe. The marker listing is also excellent as it now gives you a nice little UI representation of that marker's position with a little thumbnail and some useful information about the marker itself. It's great if you're working through a series of markers, making amendments or collaborating with others. It's a really perfect spotting list. This previously was available in the Fairlight page only, so I'm really happy to see this in the edit page now as well. I have been wanting this option for so long, I cannot tell you. Previously, if you wanted to filter your clips in the timeline down to just a particular set of clips in the color page, you needed to have them flagged, marked, or have other keywords attached. But the option to filter by clip color just wasn't there. Now in DaVinci Resolve 18.1, it is, finally. So simply filter your clips by color and speed up your grade for all clips of a certain color. This also works now too with clips that have object mask applied as well, so that's a nice another little update. Okay, so there's technically two here. Firstly, we now have the ability to export multiple selected projects in the project manager. No more right-clicking each project and doing them all one by one. Simply select the project you'd like to export, right-click and export them all at the same time. On a similar note, Blackmagic Design have also made it much easier to move project folders around by simply cutting and pasting the project between folders and project libraries. Just use the familiar commands to cut and paste and voila. Something very simple that wasn't possible before, but now is in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Very welcome indeed. So there you have it. Those are my five favorite small DaVinci Resolve 18.1 updates that I think are really useful, or at least good to know about. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, do remember to whack the like button for me and let people know that this was a good video. I'd also love to know in the comments, which of these was your favorite? Do you agree with me? Which small update did I miss out that you really like? Let's get a conversation going about it and show some love to the Blackmagic Design developers who have thought about all of these little details that actually matter and make a difference to our lives as video editors. That's gonna do it though for this video, guys. So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you'll join me in the next video. Bye for now.